Okay, welcome back everyone. And in this video, we're going to be making some bowl animation. So we're gonna be using the bowling pin from the video earlier, and we're gonna make the bowling, bowling ball in this video. So now, one thing is that we're gonna be using Blender to make the model. But for the physics stuff and the bowling ball rolling to the, the pins, we, we will need to use Unit, which is a game engine for making games. But in this video, we're just gonna make some bowling balls. All right, let's begin, shall we? So first, just open the pinball. <laughs> so first, just open the pin of the last video that we made and just delete everything else except for the pin. So the camera and the lights just delete it all. And now we're gonna add the ball. So shift A, add a UV sphere and just move it up. Move it to the left, maybe scale it up a little bit, and right click, shades move. Now first thing what we're going to do is go to the modifier and add a subdivision surface modifier. And then increase the viewport level right here to 2, and then press Ctrl A on top of it to apply it. So now we're going to make the holes. So Shift A. Shift A, add a cylinder, and just move it up, move it to the X, uh, move to the X, move it up, oh, move it up, and just adjust the scale on the Shift Z on the Z on the X Y plane, like this, and even more. So there we go. There's one hole. And you can adjust the depth. I don't really think I need that deep of a hole. So I put this one right here. Shift D, put it on the Y, uh, move it on the Y. Shift D, Shift Z, and I'm gonna move it here. Now look from top view, okay? And make sure that it's literally in the middle, in, in the middle between these two, okay? If it's not, then it might not look good, okay? So now select all of them and press M, move to a new collection, name the collection Boolean, like that. And then select our ball, add modifier, Boolean, and change the object type to a collection. And then I'll click here and then select the Boolean collection. There we go. And now you can control A on top to apply it as usual. Okay. So now we're, we're gonna select this three and delete it and add the color to our ball. So select the material, new, add a bluish color to it. And I'm, I'm just gonna go to a purple bluish color and make it dark. I'm gonna go with something like this, okay? And then there we go. So now let's export it. So press file, export, and select FBX, okay, FBX. And save it wherever you wanna save it. I'm, I'm just gonna save it at my desktop for now. Bowling, and export X FBX, okay. So now I'll see you on the other side at Unity, so yeah. All right, so first you're gonna download Unity Hub and you're gonna see something like this. Now, downloading Unity is kind of a little bit more complicated than downloading Blender or any other programs. So I might need to cover a video of making, of installing Unity. Anyways, um, for the people who downloaded it and got a editor and set up an account, Press new project and then wait a few moments uh, and then press 3D, select it 3D and we're just going to name our, this, our new project Bowling Animation. Animation. Oh, okay. Bowling Animation. Okay. So create a new project and just wait a few moments and the program should load and it's gonna take a while depending on the specs of your computer if you have a good computer then 
it will open fast and if you have a bad computer then it would maybe take a while so we'll see you're gonna get something like this an empty place with a camera and a light just like blender so anyways to begin let's import the bowling ball and the pin so just open your file explorer and go to wherever you saved it my one's right here and just drag it into the scene like this now make sure you drag it into the assets section at the bottom or else it you you might do it wrong so just wait for a few moments for it to take it take its time and import it but when it's done then you should see the file right here just like that so now when the files right in here just you're just gonna drag it into the scene like this so what we're gonna do is click on this thing just like in blender and put it in front of the camera like this in front of the camera oh so the cam you need to know which way the camera is facing so the camera is facing this way so we just gotta select it and move it and you might need to rotate it like this a little bit now it's maybe hard to control a little bit so you can uh, type in right here 90 degrees so 90 degrees and there we go so now just move it around make sure you want it you you, you got it in the place you want and now what you're gonna do is unpair this because right now it's parented to this empty of the file so just select your bowling and then right click and select prefab and unpack completely and then just drag the sphere and the cylinder down to the bottom and you can now delete the bowling so now it's separated so now here's the basics of unity when you got stuff into here like this nothing's gonna happen because there's nothing telling it to do something now usually when you're gonna make a game you need to code everything but now unity made this thing called components which you can add to your objects which uh, writing a script or code is a part of a component but there's some stuff that they already made for you like a uh, rigid body which is one of the most important things if you're gonna make physics stuff it basically gives like it basically makes physics wait it may it basically makes gravity affect your object because if you don't have rigid body it's just gonna float right there so uh, just add rigid body to both of them and now we're now uh, we got it but now the problem is if the ball collides with the pin nothing's gonna happen that's because it doesn't have a collider so there's also a component called the sphere collider which is gonna add a collider that is a sphere shape which will collide with other objects that has a collider now here we have a pretty complicated mesh it's a pin which there's not that much colliders out there that can work with this so if you if you have an imported uh, mo model that you want to add a specific collider to it you can use a mesh collider and you need to turn click on the convex right here and there we go now you might need to make sure at the bottom that it's flat I'm not sure how to check but if your bottom part is not flat you're gonna get issues of the pin falling down without anything affecting it so you might need to wash out about that anyways now we're gonna add a floor to it so to add an object in unity you need to go to our hi hierarchy right click and 3d objects cube okay and then kind of move it down and move it to the middle like this and select the scale and just scale it out like this okay and scale it on the x a little bit like this kind of like that okay so now let's just do the pin and put it in a good position so look from top 
and click like this to make it flat and then press control D to duplicate it and then you can move it control D um, move it actually I feel like this needs to be a little bit more here and this one control D move it out uh, put it here control D put it here uh, select these control D move it out slide it here control D and slide this one here so now we got our pin so now you can try to test if it worked. I'm just gonna move my ball to the back a little bit and see if it works. So let's click here on the play button thing and it'll do this loading thing and it's just getting all the information to make our game or animation or whatever you're doing run. So like that and there we go. So as you can see, there is no pin falling down like the video that I actually recorded earlier, I got a problem where I got a problem making a model in Blender and it just started falling over without anything touching it. So now maybe you can select your camera and move it up. Make it, put it in a position, a good position that you want it to be in. You can also rotate it and there we go. Now the, b the ball. So now basically if you, if you want like uh, to make it roll or something you can write code for like physics to pull the ball to the, the Z of unity a little bit to make it roll but we're not gonna be doing code here so here's a easier way uh, duplicate your ground it's control D and just move it out till it's like here and then rotate it like this and then select this and move it up and put it around here and let's try to run this again so now when you do that uh, I'm just gonna wait for a moment for the ball to roll and there we go we got it now this this might work but but as you can see the ball isn't doing that much damage to the the pin it's, it's just hitting the pin and and it bounces back now that's because the mass of our ball is the same amount as the pin which is wrong so we're just gonna select our ball and set the rigid body mass to like 50 which when we run the thing it should be much better so let's see there comes the ball and yeah there we go bowling so now one thing is that there's no rendering or making animation to make it output as mp4 or whatever type of file that you want it to export because this is a game engine and it is made for making games so if you want to like make a video like record it and send it to your friends you might need to resort to like obs or something to record it and you can send it anyways that should be it for this video hope you have had fun with it like we're trying out something new not always blender but as always i hope you like the video and i'll see you soon bye bye